Mr. Jansen here. Today we are going to be working on a new song called Ba Ba Black Sheep. Ba Ba Black Sheep is a very old nursery rhyme and the tune is a very familiar song and I'm not going to tell you what that is because I think you'll be able to figure it out. Now you will notice that Ba Ba Black Sheep incorporates the new notes that we've been working on on our G string and of the G major scale. For that reason, let's get started by warming up with a G major scale on the rhythm Mississippi Hot Dog, or four eighth notes followed by two quarter notes, with our metronome set at 80 beats per minute. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Nice job, that was a good warm up. First, let's get started by working on the first four measures or the first line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. You will notice that some of these notes have little lines attached to them. These are called ledger lines. Ledger lines extend notes above, or in this case, below the staff. All notes on the G string have a ledger line. For example, the first two notes have two ledger lines, and those are the note open G. Let's take a look at the rhythm first of the first line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Let's say it on our fruits and vegetables. For example, I like to say, instead of quarter note, I like to say pear. Instead of eighth notes, I like to say apple. And for half notes, I like to say lemon. Let's say the rhythm of the first line of Ba Ba Black Sheep on fruits. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Pear, 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 apple, apple, lemon. Pear, 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 lemon. Remind yourself that those half notes, the ones that are not filled in, get two beats. Those are the ones that I'm calling lemon. You hear that they get two beats when I say the word lemon. Next, let's work on the note names and fingerings of each one of these notes. As I previously said, the first two notes are the note open G. So begin by plucking two open G strings. The next two notes are open D. Next, you do four E's, which is first finger on the D string. Remember that these notes are eighth notes, or apples. Followed by a half note D, open D. Then you go over to the note C, which is three fingers on the G string. You do two of those. Then you go to two on the G string, which is the note B. Then you go to one on the G string, which is the note A and then open G half note. Let's try plucking that in the rhythm. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Nice job. Now let's try it with our bow. Same thing, we're just adding the bow. Don't forget to do your string crossings and to make sure that you're using the correct fingering. Feel free to write your fingerings or note names in your music. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go.
Next, let's move on to the second line, or measures 5 through 8, of Ba Ba Black Sheep. You notice in this section, there are many different rhythms. I warn you, please be careful, because sometimes the rhythm can change. Let's first say our rhythm on apples, pears, and lemons. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Pear, apple, pear, apple, pear, apple, lemon. Pear, apple, apple, pear, pear, apple, lemon. Do you notice that the rhythm isn't the same both times? In measures 5 and 6, the rhythm is slightly different than the rhythm in measures 7 and 8. Let's try saying your rhythm one more time on our fruits, just to make sure that we have all of the rhythms correct. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Pear, apple, pear, apple, pear, apple, lemon. Pear, apple, apple, pear, pear, apple, lemon. Nice job. Feel free to go over those as many times as you need to make sure that you have the right rhythm before moving forward. Now that we have the rhythm, now let's take a look at the note names and the fingerings. You begin on the open D string. Remember that the rhythm is pear, apple, or... Then this rhythm is the same, but you go over to three fingers on the G string, which is the note C. Try that. Next, the rhythm is still the same, pear, apple, with two fingers on the G string, or the note B. We end that measure with a nice long one on the G string, which is the note A. Let's just put those two measures together. We are starting on measure five, or the beginning of the second line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Let's move on. One more time, make sure that you are playing the correct rhythm in the next couple of measures because it is different from the one that we just did. Let's begin on measure seven of Ba Ba Black Sheep. We start with a familiar rhythm, pear, apple on open D. But then the rhythm changes to apple, pear when we go to three on the G string, which is the note C. Let's just try that measure. This is measure seven of Ba Ba Black Sheep. One, two, ready, go. Let's try that one more time. One, two, ready, go. Very nice job. Then it goes back to the more familiar rhythm, pear, apple, on two on the G string. And then a nice long A, one on the G string. Let's put those two measures together. This is measures seven and eight of Ba Ba Black Sheep. One, two, ready, go. Nice job. Let's play the whole second line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. We're starting on measure five of Ba Ba Black Sheep. One, two, and ready, go. Are you hearing the familiar melody yet? If you're not, wait until we play the whole thing and I think you'll be able to recognize it. Now let's try playing the whole second line, or measures five through eight, with the bow. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. Take a moment to assess your plan. Feel free to work on this as many times as you need. Let's try it one more time together. Let's play measures five through eight, or the second line of Ba Ba Black Sheep, together. Here we go. One, two, 
Ready, go. Finally, let's work on the third line, or measures 9 through 12 of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Do you notice that these four measures at the end are exactly the same as the first four measures? For that reason, let's just try plucking through it once. Remember, this is review from the first line. If you need help working on this line, go back to the tutorial on the first line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Let's give it a try. Let's play the third line of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Let's just pluck through it once. One, two, Ready, go. Now we're ready to pluck through the entire song of Ba Ba Black Sheep. Let's start at the very beginning with our metronome set at 80 beats per minute. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Now let's give it a try with our bow. Let's play the entire song of Ba Ba Black Sheep, this time with our bow, still with our metronome set at 80 beats per minute. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Nice job. Keep up the good work. Keep practicing Ba Ba Black Sheep and the notes of your G major scale. Keep up the good work and happy practicing. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm.